tonight from State Farm Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. It's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. see Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals taking on Mac Jones and the New England Patriots. But if you're going to play football in Arizona, a dome and air conditioning, those are two good things to have. And we've got both here at State Farm Stadium just west of downtown Phoenix. It's certainly hot outside here in the desert, but somehow this Cardinal crowd turned up the heat a moment ago. They were in a frenzy as their team emerged from the tunnel, and the Cardinals, they're set to do battle with the New England Patriots. Here's the punter, Jake Bailey, ready to do the honors. And we are underway from Glendale. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. The Cardinals making their way out, and it's the number one overall pick in 2019, Kyler Murray at the helm. Drafted with the idea that he'd be one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL when he put it all together. We've been seeing that progress throughout his career. This guy's legs, we knew they were phenomenal. Arm, top notch. But now we're seeing his mind come into the game. Reed's defense is better and better each and every week and is showing patience as a passer as well. Not as eager to exit the pocket, finding guys downfield for bigger plays. Now the first carry for Chase Edmonds. And flags come in as he gets forward for about three yards. Now let's check on the call. You can see this quite a bit on running plays with the guys out wide. A lot of times, though, it doesn't get caught. You're exactly right, because it's away from the play usually, so a lot of it goes undetected. But I know this will surprise you. I coach some receivers in the offseason. We work a lot on hand placement and blocking downfield. Might want to take that course. Call it no gain on the game's first play, and it's second down now. <laughs> to throw is Murray. Buying time to his left. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. They were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. It's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're usually going to pick up a holding call. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. Hook up a 15 yards there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. I don't know how many times, not just in my playing career, but you and I working together, have we ever heard a coach say, you know, I just don't have that play on my call sheet. And that's really what we had here. That was a big hole they were trying to get out of. Yeah, big gain, still a place to go, though. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And the Patriots take over. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. 
They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there are many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll run it here. This is James White. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Now a first carry for Brandon Boulder. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Now Jones. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 28, and he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there, exactly as you described, an interception. Now we'll throw here to his running back. That'll give him eight that time, and that'll make it second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains. That was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Murray now to throw. Ertz over the middle. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. We're scoreless after one. Second and five. Now Murray. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. There's Murray. Screen pass to Connor. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. Oh, Connor loses it. Could have been a costly mistake, but as it turns out, they keep possession. You can't give away these types of opportunities in the red zone. And I'm sure that was flashing through his brain as the ball escaped his hands. Fortunately for him, able to get picked up by his team, fumble recovered. They still have an opportunity deep in the red zone. This time able to hold on to the football, but not much room to run. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Murray going to throw. 
That's out to the flat for Edmonds. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield. They're understanding the coverages. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Justin Pugh, the left guard that time with a flag. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. Murray now. And this is Ertz with it, right side. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. <laughs> to throw, it's Murray. Throwing right, and that's complete. Touchdown, Cardinals. A.J. Green from 13 yards out as his guys are on the board first here tonight. for the point after. And the Cardinals will go up 7 to nothing. So that one a long 11 play drive. And the Cardinals cap it with a touchdown. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. And here's a leaping catch. He pulled it in. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Yeah, big play there. And when you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. First throw now for the backup, Brady. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Again, it's Brady. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And this is a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Open man there is Patterson complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing Jones. Over the middle complete, it's Patterson. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drop. And that's caught by Gronk for a Pats touchdown. Rob Gronkowski 
there to make the grab. And the Patriots are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays, and it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. More now on the return. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Well, the Cardinal offense is going to take over late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. Murray now on first down. This one complete to Christian Kirk. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Looking to throw again on second down. Murray. And the reception made by Green. Now the card's going to call another timeout. Their second. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Murray now on first down. Out to his left. And Murray with a smart move there at the end of the play. Picks up the first down and then slides to the ground. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. First down, Murray. Rolling to his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have the show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7, seven, seven, our score. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. But they are all even to this point. So to see if either side can pull away, Let's get you right back out to Brandon and Charles for the start of the second half. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Well, the Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. 
that was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his bop. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Marco Wilson. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On first and 10 is Connor, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right, it might go to them in this game. I like that, MVU. Well done. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Throwing now is Murray. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. There's Murray. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. So they'll wind up losing five yards on the play, and that'll make it third down. Murray to air it out again. This is caught. Touchdown! Darrell Daniels. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals have taken the lead. And that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down, but he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Extra point good by Prater, and that makes the score 14-7. to After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. This fielded right at the goal line. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. New England trying to get to place on offense. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no? You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. And they work this well upfield across the 45. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. On first and 10, Jones. And that nearly intercepted. The free safety roaming into position, almost had it, but it's second down. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. Again, he'll drop to throw. He's gonna look downfield for Henry. And this will be incomplete. Both players with a shot at it that time, but neither coming away with it. 
Well, this secondary has done such a good job of frustrating these receivers tonight. Another example right there on the deep ball. Sometimes when the sun goes down and it's just the bright lights in the stadium, it puts a little extra spring in their step, doesn't it? And that's what we're seeing from the defenders. Doesn't matter whether it's man or zone, deep ball, short ball. And that was a deep one there. They're making plays on the football, contesting everything. Kyler Murray going to lead the Cardinals back out on offense. And the numbers for the last drive, and he was perfect, which maybe isn't surprising because he has not missed a pass in this game yet. And it lets you know just how precise things have to be. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by Dante Hightower. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. Working with a second and four. On the handoff, this is White. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Now Brady. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Back to throw. Jones. He will find his tight end Smith for a Patriot touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Patriots have a chance to tie the ball game here in the final minute of the third. The point after try for Goskowski. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends with a New England touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. More now to return. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals and last time one play interception so this offense they should be fresh <laughs> that's a good way of putting it and I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception a lot of people think the very next time out run the football don't give them a chance maybe play action I think maybe you go play action show your quarterback get a little confidence in him and let him fling another one They'll run on first down. It's Connor. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. So both teams trade touchdowns in the third as we're through three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Connor going to get it again on second down. He'll be stopped shy of the 45 despite a great move. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Out of the gun, here's Murray. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Andy Lee now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the offense.
Jets will take over with a new set of downs. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. Now a play fake here on first down. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight, forcing the incompletion on that attempt. Complete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Looking to throw. Jones. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 34-yard line. Back to throw again. And this one nearly picked off. Well, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Throwing again on second and ten. Jones, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. A field goal from this spot would be 51 yards. They'll try to move it closer on third down. They'll look to throw again. Going to air it out deep for Gronkowski. And that will be incomplete. Oh, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? A big spot now for Steven Goskowski. This to break our fourth quarter time. And Goskowski's kick is good. And they take a 17-14 lead. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for looking for Ertz, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Dante Hightower. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. All right, Brandon. Normally when you hear about guys making two interceptions in the game, you're thinking must be a free safety, maybe a corner. How about getting two picks out of one of your linebackers? Again, he's just in the right place at the right time. And that's another great play to come away with the football. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. 
That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Second and 21, a lot of ground to cover. They'll run again with Bolden. And some space here. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Less than two to play with just a field goal separating these two sides. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got a third down, but they are in field goal range already. They run with Bolden. Able to fight through one tackle. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. And it's a fake. He's going to throw it. Now a throw caught by one of their linemen. Now the Cards going to call another timeout. They're second. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They come out with one back and three tight ends. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And when you throw as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. That grounding call could very well doom this drive. We'll see. They'll try again here, third and goal. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they're getting with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. Goskowski's kick is good. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they feel a whole lot better about their position. Well, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. And no run back here for Moore. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25. Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense. Down 20 to 14, less than 90 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. to throw Murray this is caught it's Kirk and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line to throw is Murray oh they intercept him Murray for the third time picked up by Jalen Mills and the Patriots have just about sewn up this football game when you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, 
should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Quickly into the hands of Patterson. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. This one left side caught by Patterson. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them. This one is now planted. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say good night, everybody.